Welcome back to Great Day Houston. Much of the art scene in Houston you'll find downtown, but there's a gym in West Houston called Queensberry Theater that is producing groundbreaking diverse works. Their new production of Violet stars Teresa Zimmerman, and Teresa is with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning, Deborah. All right, you are from Houston, grew up here. Yes, I am. And that's what's kind of cool about the Queensberry Theater is they're hiring locals. Yes, hiring locally, which is fantastic, giving the arts community here a lot of opportunity, and the fact that they are a professional theater and they operate under an SPT 5 contract. It's giving a lot of union actors um, opportunities to work as well. Yeah, all right. You grew up in a theater family, a theater loving family. I did. <laughs> so what was it like at dinner time? Was it like, pass me the gravy? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we were just doing doing pirouettes all around the kitchen table. <laughs> no, I wish I wish I stayed in dance long enough to do that. But my parents, um, they they met at the Austin Ballet. They went, they moved to Germany, and they performed in tours of West Side Story oh. um, all around Germany. And and my dad will not let me forget it yeah. <laughs> and uh, that's that's kind of what they did and they encouraged us to grow, grow up with a lot of arts education my sister's a pianist my brother drummer and a doctor and then my other a brother and a, and a doctor I yeah, know it's of brain kind of crazy um, and then another brother playing guitar and you any sing. really instrument and, and yeah, act, yeah yes and I, I found my instrument um, after trumpet and piano lessons um, Kind of, uh, yeah. I, I ended up singing and I love it. But it sounds like your childhood was like always focused on being expressive. Um, yes. You were, okay, let me just high five you right now. You were a nerd, <laughs> right? Yes, so I was. was I. Okay. Speech and debate. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So, on Saturday morning, what did the Saturday morning look like for you? Like a lot of teenagers would be like sleeping in. For you, it looked like what? Saturday morning um, in high school, I would put on my blazer and my dress pants um, with a horde of other teenagers and we'd pile onto a bus and we'd go to speech and debate tournaments yeah, okay. <laughs> all weekend. I, I did it too, except I went to speech and debate in Latin. Oh, yes. whoa, that's Brit another level Girl. of nerd. -dom. Britannia Essing Slot de Wiesa and Trace Partes. Okay, oh so my there, gosh. yes, there we can save the nerds. <laughs> but actually, that's that, amazing. That was a cool thing to do, right? <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. Uh, but Stay even cool. though you had that musical background, that artistic background, that wasn't necessarily where you thought you would go career wise no, at first. I thought I was going to go to beauty school. Um, I, I had pretty much every color of hair imaginable. Clairol number one to uh, Clairol number 45. Oh yeah, yeah, and turquoise and green and purple, everything. And um, I had a voice teacher who was really pushing me towards musical theater. And he said, okay, I just audition for one school. Just apply to one school. So I said, okay, okay. And I got into Sam Houston State University mm -hmm. and that changed my trajectory. And the great thing is I get to do hair and makeup for the stage anyway. Anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you know what, there's a, such an important point right there though. Sometimes we have laid out in front of us what we think oh, our yeah. life is going to be. And it was actually my drama teacher who told me to go into this instead of medicine. Mm -hmm. You know, so wow. that one person that can kind of give you the confidence yes. to do, uh, but I think sometimes too when you grew up the way you did, uh, that was just normal. Music, was yeah. like, it wasn't a career. It, it was, was like right in life. front of my face and I didn't see it. Yeah. yeah. The other thing I love about you is that you know, sometimes I get people ask me, you know, how do I get on stage? How do I do this? How do I... There are more ways than they think. And um, another way is cruise ships. Mm -hmm. Some of the best shows I've ever seen were on cruise ships. Oh my gosh. And, it, and as a performer, it teaches you so much about consistency and about staying motivated and really um, creating a safe space among your cast members as yeah. well. I mean, you're on these ships for about seven to nine months at a time, sometimes even a whole year. Yeah. And uh, that teaches you a lot about hard work. And even though you might be doing the same thing day in and day out, it's still something that you need to put your all into yeah. every day. You can mess up, but failure's not an option. You gotta keep no, on going. Yeah, you gotta Let keep on going. On. Pick up that wig, put it back on, and just get back on stage. <laughs> yeah, we saw Beyonce do it, right? Pick yes. it back up, put it back on. Yeah. Uh, tell us about Violet, the musical that you're in. Yes, so Violet is based on a, um, on a short story called The Ugliest Pilgrim by Doris Betts. And it's about a woman who was disfigured um, by a wayward axe blade that hit her in the face and she is on this pilgrimage to see a televangelist preacher in Tulsa Oklahoma and she's going to get healed by this preacher and she has it planned out she has everything ready for him and she's traveling um, in a bus through the south in the early 1960s and so while she is experiencing this new world coming from a rural mountain town, she's also experiencing the state of the world as it, as it was in yeah. 1964. Along the way, she meets two soldier, soldiers, uh, one white soldier and one African-American soldier. And so now she's learning also how to empathize with this black soldier traveling through the South as well. And through that, she learns to, how to empathize with herself and yeah. how to forgive and 
and what that means. True beauty, really. True is, inner right? beauty. Yes, yeah. it's, it's an amazing story. Yeah, we're in such a plastic world right now, and, yeah. and I get it. I've, I've done a few things myself, <laughs> but sometimes people are obsessed with that, thinking that's yeah. going to bring them more, and, and the really whole person comes from the inside mm -hmm. out. Okay, the song you're going to sing is is all to pieces. All right, mm -hmm. Violet. The musical is playing at the Queensbury Theatre September 6th through the 23rd. Tickets are available on the Queensbury Theatre website. We also have more information on our site, GreatDayHouston.com. But now here's Teresa with All to Pieces from Violet. If I had gypsy hair with a face to match it, no traces anywhere of a wayward hatchet, I could be Citrice shooting on location in some far off and tiny nation. With a darker history, if I threw you a glance and I let it linger, I could wrap you around my finger. Oh, on a bar dose. why should she be stingy? Oh, throwing her toes. Mine are just too dingy. I can reach her my mountain for those. picture show give me just a minute though to pillage my portfolio borrow elky summer's hair with judy garland's pretty chin put grace kelly's little nose with rita hayward's skin but ava cardner for the eyebrows bergman cheekbones under gypsy eyes i could shine like a moonbeam on the silk of a ball gown. I could be someone lovely, turning heads on her first night. 